little fox. A human history of Mars. A new Mars rover rolls across red sand in the Atacama Desert in Chile. The rover has all of the latest technology developed by NASA to aid in the study of Mars. Why are NASA scientists testing a Mars rover in South America? The Atacama Desert is one of the driest places on Earth and one of the places most similar to Mars. It's the perfect place for scientists to practice for future expeditions to the Red Planet. Humans have long been fascinated with Mars. After all, Mars is our neighbor, just one planet further from the Sun than Earth. The Red Planet, named for the Roman god of war, has long been visible to the naked eye. But no one knew much about Mars for centuries. In the 1500s, scientists began to learn more about the stars in the solar system. They were able to calculate the position of Mars and learn about its orbit. In 1609, Italian scientist Galileo Galilei used an early telescope for a closer view of Mars. As telescopes improved in the 1700s, so did the study of Mars. Scientists began to work out other details about the planet. Early measurements of its rotation and tilt were later proven to be nearly correct. Mars takes 24 hours and 37 minutes to complete a rotation. The planet has a tilt of around 25 degrees. Since these values are similar to Earth's, astronomers were curious. Could Mars be like Earth? The red planet's physical features also encouraged people to believe that it was similar to Earth. Astronomers noticed light and dark areas on the planet's surface and believed them to be oceans and land masses. In 1877, Giovanni Schiaparelli published a detailed map of Mars that included these Earth-like features. He also included long straight lines that he had observed cutting across Mars's landmass. These lines looked much too orderly to be natural features. Schiaparelli thought that they were waterways that had been made by intelligent life. His beliefs were disputed, and it was later realized that the lines were an optical illusion. But the idea of a complex civilization on Mars had already gripped people's imaginations. Schiaparelli's mistaken belief helped give the word Martian a new meaning. It had long been an adjective that meant having to do with Mars. Now it came to be a noun, meaning an inhabitant of Mars. By the end of the 19th century, novels and stories about Martians were popular. But their depictions weren't always positive. In The War of the Worlds, a novel by British author H.G. Wells, England is invaded by Martians. An adaptation of Wells' novel was broadcast on the radio in 1938. The first part of the story was told as a series of news reports. Many listeners panicked because they thought Martians had really invaded Earth. By the 1960s, the widespread belief in Martians began to disappear, but Martians remained figures in popular culture. Rather than scary unknown invaders, they were more likely to appear as funny characters in comedies. What caused humans to change their minds about Martians? Space exploration was finally possible, and humans eagerly raced to explore space. The Soviet Union and the United States sent spacecraft to fly close to Mars and take photographs. In the 1970s, probes landed on Mars and sent back the first photographs from the surface. Mars was found to be cold and dry with a surface covered in red dust. There were no signs of Martians. Since then, many unmanned missions have been sent to explore the Red Planet. There are some similarities between Mars and Earth. Mars has polar ice caps, mountains, plains, and sand dunes. But the environment is not very Earth-like at all. The planet's atmosphere is mostly carbon dioxide. With these conditions, no form of Earth life is possible on Mars. However, 
scientists have found the minerals and chemicals necessary for life. There is also evidence that Mars once contained water. New questions began to arise. Was there once life on Mars? Do microscopic forms of life still live deep under the surface of Mars? Might we be able to build human colonies on Mars one day? Some people even wonder if Mars could be transformed into a planet like Earth. So far, Mars has turned out to be less like Earth than early astronomers believed. But we have a long way to go before we fully understand the red planet. Luckily, more missions to Mars are planned, and the unique conditions of the Atacama Desert are helping scientists to prepare for these expeditions. Each expedition uncovers new information about Mars, but humans have barely even scratched the surface of the red planet's mysteries. Thank you.